So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how you can get an Apple MDM push certificate, otherwise known as the Apple Push Notification Service Certificate. And this is required for you to be able to manage iOS, iPad, and macOS devices inside Microsoft Intune. And for all the different ways that you can enroll, whether it's through the company portal app or using bulk enrollment methods, such as using Apple's automated device enrollment. You'll also wanna know that the Apple MDM push certificate only lasts for one year. So you must renew this certificate. If you do not renew the certificate, so for example, you let it lapse and then create a new certificate, you are gonna be forced to unenroll and then re-enroll all your existing iOS and macOS devices for them to still be able to be managed by Microsoft Intune. Then lastly, you will need a Apple ID to be able to create and generate these certificates. And as a best practice, you need to use a company email address for your Apple ID. Don't use a personal Apple ID because this certificate, as we just mentioned, is going to need to be renewed every year. So ideally, you want your Apple ID assigned then to a mailbox that multiple administrators can monitor so they can see all the notifications, letting them know when they need to renew this Apple certificate. And with that, let's get this part started. All right, so let's walk through how we're going to get your certificate into Microsoft Intune. So from the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, you need to go to Devices, then Enroll Devices, Apple Enrollment, and then Apple MDM Push Certificate. At this point, we have a few steps that we got to walk through. First of all, we got to grant Microsoft some permissions to be able to send some user and device information to Apple. Of course, if you want to see a bit more info, you can click the more information button, but just go ahead and select agree. Now for step two, you want to go ahead and hit download your CSR. Doing this allows you to have the Intune certificate signing request, which you're going to need to be able to create the Apple MDM push certificate. For step three, you need to go ahead and hit create your MDM push certificate. At this point, it's going to navigate you to the Apple Push Certificates portal, where you need to go ahead and sign in with an Apple ID. Of course, you want to remember our best practices from earlier and ensure that you use a company email address and not a personal email address for your Apple ID. Now that you've logged in with your Apple ID, you need to go ahead and click the Create a Certificate. You'll now need to, of course, go through and read meticulously the terms of use and then click that you've read it and you agree to the terms of use and then hit Accept. At this point, then you can go ahead and hit choose file and browse for that certificate signing request file that you just downloaded. So in my case, Intune CSR dot CSR, and then go ahead and hit upload. Once you've uploaded your signing request file, you're going to end up on the confirmation page. At this point, you're going to want to go ahead and choose download for the certificate.pem file and then save that file locally. If you're interested to learn more about the certificate that you just created, you can click manage certificate. From here, you can see all sorts of information from the expiry date to if this cert is actually active or not. And then you have a few actions from renewing it, downloading and revoking. And the key bit of information here that I'll repeat again is if you revoke or allow the certificate to expire, this will require existing devices to be re-enrolled with a new push certificate. So trust me, you do not want this to happen in production. So make sure that you renew this certificate properly before it expires. Now back in Microsoft Endpoint Manager for step four, you need to enter the Apple ID that you just used to create the Apple MDM push certificate. So in my case, the Apple MDM cert. This is important because this gives you the information you need when you come back to this to see what was the Apple ID you used to create this certificate? Now then, for step five, we just need to go ahead and browse for our Apple MDM push certificate. So you just need to hit the browse icon, then locate your certificate that you just downloaded, go ahead and hit open, and then from there, we can click upload. At this point, if you go to the top and look at your MDM push certificate and you see the status is active, at this point, we are good to go and we can start enrolling iOS and Mac devices into Microsoft Intune. The last thing I want to mention is that it's critical to have a process in place to look at how are you going to renew your Apple MDM push certificate as it needs to be renewed annually. So I'm going to put a link to the documentation for you to read through it. We're not going to cover it in this video, but please make sure you do this to continue to allow Intune and Microsoft Endpoint Manager to really manage and control your Apple devices. Well, that's it for this video. Have a look at the next video where we're going to cover how do you enroll Apple devices into Microsoft Endpoint Manager.